Hi guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're going to be taking a look at Sapphire's implementation of the 12 volt high failure connector on the Sapphire Radeon RX 9070XT Nitro Plus. Uh, because ever since I heard that Sapphire is using the connector, I've been wondering if they did anything clever with it. And well, thanks to Tech Power Up's review over here, I can now tell you that they are in fact not doing anything clever with it. Because um, yeah, looking at the back of the board, uh, we can clearly see that these six 12 volt pins are just tied together with one big 12 volt polygon. This is the exact same setup that you have on a 4090 or a 5090. There is no active current balancing for this power connector. The, like, if you were to cut off five of the 12 volt wires, all of the current would just go through the one wire that you didn't cut. Uh, if five of the pins are making bad contact, all of, like, most of the current is going to go through the one pin that is making good contact. So, yeah, um, there's, there's no active current balancing on this because these are all wired in parallel. Great. Um, however, there are some differences uh, later on in the power delivery of, or, or like power distribution on this card. So um, after we get the everything in parallel at the 12 volt high power connector, uh, we get two shunt resistors. These are still in parallel, so no, like these aren't splitting anything yet. Uh, then we get another big 12 volt blob, but then we get these two fuses. And these two fuses actually connect to two separate 12 volt rails, not one giant one. So that's a good thing because that means the fuses are actually effective. Like, this is one complaint I have, like, another complaint I have for a lot of the high-end NVIDIA GPUs is that because they use one giant 12-volt power rail for the entire card, or basically the entire card, there's technically a separate power rail for the PCIe slot, but that doesn't really power anything important, so I just, you know, we can just kind of ignore that for the most part. Um, but anyway, so because NVIDIA GPUs have just one giant 12 volt power rail, you can't effectively put a fuse on it because that fuse would have to be like 60 or 70 or 80 amps. And at that point, uh, it's not going to do anything, right? Because the point of these fuses isn't to prevent component failure because they can't do that. But what tends to happen is when you have a power stage fail, uh, it will fail short circuit. And so it's good to have a fuse to cut that short circuit as quickly as possible and the smaller the value of the fuse, the better, right? So these, I think, are 20 amp fuses, uh, which is a reasonable size, pretty typical for GPUs. And so on this card, if one of the power stages, you know, did suffer a uh, failure, I would imagine that the fuse would just blow and, you know, repairing the card would just be a matter of replacing the dead power stage. Um, if you didn't have the fuses, the amount of damage that a failing power stage can be, like, can cause is kind of spectacular. Like, you can... You know, dying power stages can kill all of your memory chips, they can kill the core, they can burn a hole through the PCB, they can just, like, um, yeah. So I like fuses. I like the fact that Sapphire has the fuses, that they've split up the 12 volt rails into two reasonably sized ones instead of one giant one. Because the alternative here, like, if this was wired like an NVIDIA card, these two fuses would be in parallel, and effectively it would make a 40 amp fuse which is going to be a lot less effective at preventing uh, damage, right, than, two, than, an, than a 20 amp fuse. So that's still a difference. Um, this is not exactly the same, but as far as the actual connector itself, yeah, this doesn't have any active current balancing. So if you don't plug it in uh, well enough, or if your connector is like worn out or something, uh, yeah, like th there's nothing to prevent the current from just going like most of the current from just going through one of the wires instead of spreading evenly across all of them because there isn't any active current balancing. Um, mind you, active current balancing in this case would basically just be a matter of like uh, not wiring all six of the pins in parallel. Because <laughs> that's how all the older cards do it, right? It's just each connector is its own separate power rail. And if you look at like a 3090 Ti, which uses the like predecessor of this connector, um, that just wires it as like two, like three groups of two pins. This is wired as one group of six pins. That's kind of the whole issue. Now, luckily, this is a 9070 XT, so the power limit isn't anywhere near as high as uh, you know a 4090 or a 5090. However, the Nitro Plus from Sapphire is an overclocked edition, so if we actually look at the power consumption numbers. Um, it's, you know, it's 350 watts, um, which 
you know, still less of a problem than like the 400 to 500 watts that a 4090 or 5090 pulls. I mean, it depends on the load, right? Like 4090s can also max out at like 468. Um, but uh, yeah, like the thing is like, I think I've heard of even like 5080s and like 4080s sometimes melting the connector. And I think the only card that I've never heard of somebody managing to melt the connector is like a 4070 Ti. So, you know, um, I, I'm not a fan of this connector. I, I think it's a stupid connector, and, uh, yeah. And Sapphire hasn't really done anything of, anything to solve that. Though I'm kind of wondering at this point if the, like, wiring this connector as one group of six is actually, like, part of the spec for the connector, which is dumb as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. Because that basically means, like, yeah, if your pin, like, you know, if you, if the pins are worn out, or if you, like, don't plug it in just right, or even if you do plug it in just right, and then, like, like, one thing I've been wondering is, like, does the connector maybe have problems with thermal cycling? It could back out due to vibrations, like, you know, gravity could slowly pull the connector out of, like, out of good contact, depending on how the card is mounted and how heavy the cables are, like... Now, admittedly, 9070 XT doesn't, you know, even the Nitro, like, it doesn't have as insane a power limit as the 4090 or 5090, so you can't, like, you like worst case scenario on a 9070 XT is a lot less bad than worst case scenario on a 5090, unless you, like, start modifying the card in some way to bypass the power limits, but, uh... Still not a great connector, as far as I'm concerned, and unfortunately, Sapphire hasn't really done anything to, to change that. Um, so, yeah. Um, luckily, Sapphire does have a bunch of other cards that don't use this connector, so personally, I would just go get one of those instead. Um, so, yeah. I'm I'm really wondering if that's like actually part of the spec that you're not supposed to split up the connector because that that's stupid. <laughs> it's just like why, like at least like give give the option to like you know balance the connector on the card at least because the power supply absolutely cannot do it. The only way the power supply could balance the connector is if it either added extra resistance in series, which would be horrendous for efficiency, or uh, if the power supply had, like, six different 12-volt rails, and it could juice some of them to compensate for the extra pin resistance, which is an insane solution. Like, that you're not doing that. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, at least, you know, at least this doesn't have as high a power limit as a 4090 or 5090. But, uh, yeah, Sapphire hasn't really done anything about the power connector being terrible, so... Um, there that's that's it for the video because that's i like i i am planning to do more like pcb videos for 9070s but for now tech power up has only published two 9070 reviews and i want to see more pcbs before i start like making videos about them so um yeah that's it um hopefully you sound found this somewhat interesting if not particularly useful and thanks for watching if you'd like to support the channel there are links in the description and Goodbye, I guess.